Good morning guys and welcome back to Winding and Racing. Well today's project on Rally Bug is going to be doing the other side of this boxing in of these corners here. Now the hood mounts out to here and I wanted to make this a little bit neater and sturdier. This is a much sturdier uh, corner than this one over here. So, in order to do that, first one thing I discovered in making uh, the passenger side one is I didn't need it to come out so far here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off back an inch and a half. And then I bend these tabs in. This is basically the shape of the Volkswagen body. And I can bend these tabs in there. And as you can see, on the other one, with this missing portion, this is what they do. Basically, come on in here and add some support to that corner. So, that side turned out real good. I'm going to get busy and get this one done. And, uh, you know, progress on rally bug. Let's get this going.
Yeah, I got those tabs all bent in like that and uh, let's see how it's gonna fit. It'll take a little fudging around probably to get it to fit just perfect, but. See, and I gotta cut a little bit there, so. Basically that is real close. That'll come down a little bit, which will make that tab there fit down below there. So I'm gonna do a little uh, fudging around off uh, off camera and bring you guys back when uh, it's all fitting in there nice and tight and ready to go. But that's gonna be a quick little project. I can get onto other stuff. I still got to get the uh, get the brakes working on this thing. I don't know what happened to my brakes in the bleeding process. So let's. Uh, Get this done real quick, and we'll get on to the brakes. All right, guys. Well, after a little bit of cleaning up in here, and this thing here, I think that's part of the, the heater tube. That was kind of bent in and kind of screwed me up there, but got that all cleaned up. That's ready to tack on there. But this thing now... is fitting in like it should so i'm going to go ahead and tack it in a couple of spots then i got to trim this edge here to fit the new panel and uh we'll be good to weld that in there so let's get that done
Yeah, future reference. Do not weld with holes in your gloves. I don't know if you guys saw that spark. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed that. Anyways. So I think we're tacked in there pretty good there. Welded top and bottom. I'll do a little finishing touches here. I mean, this whole thing is going to come apart for paint and finishing body work. All these little touches will uh, get handled then. Even on the inside here, I could deal with that, but I don't want to take the time today to, to cut and weld this in here. So this will wait. Obviously it'll be the same thing on the other side there. See here, I'll have to bring this on in here. That'll take some cutting and some welding in there, but uh, I need to figure out what's going on with these brakes. Because I don't have brakes right now. And uh, I want to drive rally bug. Can't do that without brakes. So, I'm going to spend a little time on that, see if I can't figure it out. And I'll uh, bring you guys back when I know more about stopping rally bug. So. All right, guys, well, welcome back. And like I said, it's uh, time to work on these brakes. We got my son here with, uh, what do you call this thing now? It's a fluid extractor. Fluid extractor. Yeah, we made work for this because we don't have the proper stuff anymore. So it's going to work. So we're going to draw fresh brakes through, fluid through all the system. And uh, let's see how this works. Is the cap off? Yes. My job will be to keep an eye on the reservoir so we don't uh, run out of fluid and mess the whole thing up. This tool here creates a suction and yeah, look at the reservoir. Okay. All right, it's full. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, going down or anything. We get any fluid out of this? Why don't I give it a pump and see if it yeah. does anything? All right, like I said, there might be a problem with the master cylinder here. Yep, there it goes. It is squirting, okay. That's a very good sign there. Look at that reservoir again. It's moving down now. Okay. Ever so slightly, but it is.
I'm starting to see some action here. Go pump the brakes. Okay. Give it two pumps and hold. Yeah. All right, now it's held. So guys, obviously we're going to be playing around with this for a little bit. Uh, if we get some positive action, I'll bring you back and, and let you know how it goes. Uh, well, either way, I'll bring you on back and uh, let you know what the verdict of this little operation is. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, we got the brake split. Instead of pulling fluid through with the other pump, we use this one, force fluid through, and uh, building that pressure with the pedal now, so now he's going to go take it around the block. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. I got brakes again. I think uh, Bobby explained how we uh, we did the pumps and got the fluid all solid throughout. It's still pulling a little bit hard to the left. Not not hard, but it's pulling a little bit there. But maybe in time it'll even out. So see, this weekend I got the corners all done there. Got the brakes working now. Wheels are looking real pretty after that job on them yesterday. So we're going to uh, take old Rally Bug to the car show. We're not going to actually enter it, but we're going to go. And uh, there's like hundreds of bugs uh, in the parking lot of Chirco Automotive here in Tucson, Arizona. And take a uh, old Rally Bug over there and get a little attention. So. I want to thank you guys for watching the videos that I produced the last few days. Uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Bobby's going to be working a bit on this today. Still, old Black Betty, we got to do the uh, do the axle boot still. That thing's leaking. But Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's getting late in the day. And, uh, you know, still got to get it edited and all that stuff. So... Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and have a great evening.